Hi everyone, I'm walking along today. So today's problem, I've had a subscriber write to me about a problem he's got with a roof tank overflowing. So this video is kind of all for you with F&E systems. If you've got a combi, this will not be a problem of yours. So what he's got is an overflow that is running pretty much 24-7. A small, small little tiny drip and drip every now and again. A bit like a dripping tap, but it keeps going. And he said to me, now the thing is I've been up in the loft and had a look and it's coming from the small F&E tank. That is a little feed tank for the central eating. It is full up to the top. I've bowled a few saucepanfuls out to bring the level down and I've noticed that the ballcock is not leaking. So it is not the valve. Look at that lovely bird. Can you hear that? It's a singing thrush in my garden, so happy. <laughs> so, what can I do about this? Because obviously the valve is not letting by and what I've got here is an overflow that I can't understand how the water is getting to the tank and filling up when there's no visible sign of it actually coming from the valve itself, which is no problem, it's, it's off solid, there's nothing coming through. So, what's happening? Well, I will show you. <laughs> so, here we go with one of Al's drawings, one of my specials. <laughs> Just run you through it quickly. Hot water cylinder here, main roof tank there, the F&E tank, the little one there, and the boiler there. I've just drawn them roughly. It could be anything. I mean, di different systems are all slightly different, but same principle applies to what's going wrong. And that is that I'm suspecting, more than likely, as your overflow runs all the time, that you have a hole in the inner coil of the hot water cylinder. And what a lot of people don't understand is that when that pipe and the bottom pipe goes into the cylinder, it doesn't just go into a load of water, it's actually in its own sealed system. It's a secondary heat that comes off of this, that heats the water that you drain off to the taps. So that gets hot from the boiler, the water inside that coil heats up the water on the outside and then runs to your taps nice and hot. But should this coal get a leak in it, this I suspect is here, it's probably usually at the bottom of the coal when I've ever opened these things up, then what's happening is the pressure from the main tank is going into this coil, it's forcing water around and then down, and then we say round to the boiler on this particular drawing, and up the cold feed into this little tank. And why is that? Because these tanks are both on the ceiling, which a lot of them are in the loft. They're basically just slapped down on the ceiling joist. I'm bothered drawing a joist. But basically what's happening here is, is this water level is here and this one is down here. Once that pressure is going into the system, the heating system, then the water wants to go up to this level here in this tank. So it gets to the overflow and obviously starts to run outside to protect it going on down and through your ceiling. So you can't stop it in a sense because until that pressure is equalised with that one, it's going to keep going. So unfortunately, this means a new hot water cylinder. There's nothing can be fixed with these. Once that's gone, it's got to be changed. Now it's an expensive job, I know. A little get out that some people have done just for a little while to see you through, especially at the moment, would be to raise this little tank to the same level, so that the water level is the same in both. So you kind of equalise the level pressure. Once you've done that, build a little stand, use plastic pipes, just slip on pipes and just get it up there cheaply as you can, then you could obviously get away with it for a little while. But you would have to renew that cylinder and don't forget that you will be having mixing going on, which is really taboo. We don't like that at all. <laughs> but as a little get out, that's one way out of it once you've got that, especially if it's a bad one. I mean, uh, the guy that wrote to me said he just drips all the time, but I have known some of them actually run all the time where this hole's got really bad in the inner coil of the cylinder. So that's what's occurring there. So the next thing is I've been asked about is that people get an overflow, but only when the boiler's switched on. What's happening there? Well, obviously, overheating is occurring. By that, I mean that what is going on is that the heating is getting so hot, it's shooting hot water 
up here and through the vent and into the little tank and raising the level until it overflows. Now, this is another common problem. When it often happens when things start to clog up in the system. You start getting black sludge, you get heating spots, hot spots they call them, and it does mean maybe there's a slight blockage on a fitting here on a T, it's getting really hot, not circulating properly, and it will dissipate the, the hot water, the extra heat up the, the vent and into that tank. So generally on the main it usually means your system needs a bit of a good clean out. Well, I've got loads of videos on how to do that job. I'll give you some links for those now. But on the main, usually the, the two problems are, as I say, it's never the ball cock usually. Check it isn't the ball cock, but normally it isn't. <laughs> and it's either that, the leak, or if it's only overflowing, as I say, just now and again when the boiler goes on, or when the boiler's been on for a little while, it might start to go and you may find you get a little gush up here, it rushes, if you go up in the loft and have a look, you get a little gush for a little while and then it stops. Again, that is overheating of the system and there's more likely blockages of sludge laying around in the pipework that's blocking it up and it's venting itself up there quick to relieve the heat and pressure and get it out and obviously save itself from having any further problems because a lot of times the boiler will shut down anyway so if, if it gets really hot uh, this will shut down you'll get a little vent of pressure up there and think what's happened you know the boiler's gone off but you know if you find you're resetting the boiler all the time then you definitely have a problem usually not the pump people think it is a pump but do check it but a lot of times we've sludge build up in the system so that is basically the two main reasons why you can get uh, an overflow, well apart from the ball cock obviously going, <laughs> which it does sometimes, from the little F and E tank up in the loft. Okay guys, hope that sorted out that little one for you. All my stuff, you know, to go to usual place, Derrick and 33. Catch you next time, bye bye.